exactly what the brothers were up to. Were they double, triple agents? We just know they were on CIA payroll. We helped take over news conferences and expose that. We've done so many other things. I'm not bragging. I'm just pointing out that InfoWars is highly effective. Tip of the spear getting rid of Boehner. You just heard the guy at the very tip of the spear saying that earlier. You are the tip of the spear. You are the power. You're the ones that are having the effect. You're the ones that need to be saluted. And that's why I just throw it out there, spread the word about the broadcast, sign off on your Facebook, your Twitter, your email, infowars.com forward slash show. Send people a link to the free podcast. Send people a link to the YouTube channel. Get a prisonplanet.tv membership. 20 people can use it. Share it with friends and family. <sighs> One thing that the source told me was the type of operation they're talking about is basically grabbing all our computers and even bank accounts and things to try to shut down the media operation. How obvious is that going to be? But they don't care. doesn't matter. We'll just go get a satellite truck, fire it up with the uplinks and contracts, and be on the air in an hour. They just, they're blind in ways. They, they haven't done stuff this naked before in America. And they just don't get what they're doing. I, quite frankly, am excited about this. And I prayed about it this morning. I said, God, am I getting sick? I mean, I'm getting off on this. I'm excited. I, I almost can't wait. And the answer is no. You wanted to fight. You asked to be a vessel. You wanted to be put up against these people. You wanted to have a, a big effect. You wanted to measure up to your forebears. You're going to get your chance. <laughs> yeah. A life of substance, a life of meaning, a life of value, a life of fullness and doing the right thing. I just am so honored to be your host. I'm so honored to be here. I'm so honored to be in this position. I'm so honored that with your help, we've made history so many times together. And I'm so honored to work with other great people like Matt Drudge and the folks at WorldNet Daily and people like Colonel Schaefer and Ron Paul and... Just all the others, the great patriots, the people that believe in humanity, that believe in a, a, a handshake, that believe in goodwill. I just feel humbled to be part of such a order. There's no official order, no group, no sign above the door, no membership card, but it is the great order. The great order of men makes me think of uh, that poem, Child Roland, the Dark Tower came, that I've played here so many times because I guess I played it once or twice because this is the great animating contest of liberty. This is it. And it is through adversity that we become men and women. It's an amazing time to be alive. Such an incredible time to be alive. And to fight for my country, to fight for the world, to fight for the unborn, to fight for due process, to fight for low taxes, to fight for prosperity, to fight for truth, to fight for medical freedom. To be involved with this great crew of men and women here at InfoWars. To be standing together, taking action together. Is amazing. really is. I mean, I live a James Bond movie. Shikari ran into the, the actor that plays James Bond, the latest guy. He's got a little clip of him going in the UN, I guess, to be all fanfare for the carbon tax. Probably, I don't know his politics. That's probably why I was going. It's like, who cares? You know, I like the real James Bonds, I know. And believe me, I know a lot of them. A lot of them aren't public. Guess what? what? We bugged Mr. Blake's cell and we heard him talking to his lawyer. You see, we took the so money. And so it repeats in our own day today, ladies and gentlemen, over and over again. And now they'd say, good kid, good job you spied on them without a warrant. Good job you dialed in to what was happening. This is the total overthrow of the Americana system and what made us so special. And now they sit here with the DEA, the FBI, and all the rest of them creating fake investigations where they frame people and then they go and parallel construct where they claim they got all the evidence and go officially lie in front of the federal judges. And the federal judges know full well they're doing it,
Look up parallel construction for yourself. And they even have classes at the Justice Department for the FBI and others to learn how to lie. But you got to become a supervisor to get into those classes. Then you get the bigger paycheck. And so this is the criminal government that we have. And, of course, the DEA is out in Afghanistan torturing people to death that don't agree to only sell their opium to the United States. This is how the globalists operate. In fact, they pulled up the Reuters article, but the mainstream media will always say, oh, that's InfoWars. So we save a few paragraphs to document it. Click on the Reuters link itself, and we'll uh, take you to... U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency halts huge secret data program with the NSA where they parallel construct fake investigations. How could anyone ever sit in on one of these federal juries and believe anything you're being told? Because this is not the federal government. This is an alien foreign banking cartel that began to take over the country. The face sucker got on us in 1913, laid eggs in us. D.C. blew open. A bunch of aliens came out, and now they've got the whole country and the whole world infested. America was a big, strong host, and millions of eggs popped out of us. That's the allegory. And now we got our guts hanging out, stumbling around half dead. And the Tea Party's like, you might want to sew your intestines shut, you might live. And the media's going, shut up, all that red stuff spraying out of your belly's loving. Just, just lay down and relax. They just want us to die. They're done with us. They already sucked us dry. We already hatched world government. We already funded total takeover. We have the highest rates of cancer, diabetes, neurological disorders. They're chemtrailing us, poisoning the water, dumbing us down, just slaughtering everyone. You got all these compartmentalized idiots work for the government. They think they're part of the winning team. Their kids drink fluoride. They breathe the chemtrails. They take all the shots. Probably a third of the feds listening to the show got a kid can't even talk. That's your bosses is what they did to you. You're not part of the winning team. You're getting screwed over like everybody else. And see, they know my straight Texas talk, my hardcore in-your-face paradigm-shattering info. Cuts through the trance for whatever grating reason and gets people thinking because I cover stuff so horrible. See, the globalists do things so bad that people can't even imagine it's going on. The believability is not there. But then I show you historical examples and show you what's currently happening. And so people get the believability. They research for themselves. I've had listeners for 21 years and people heard me talk about Planned Parenthood and baby parts. And hospitals killing people for their organs. That's now in the news. What do you think happened to our credibility? We have the congressman on to get rid of Boehner. Now he's going. What do you think happens to our credibility? We expose Benghazi first. What happens to our credibility? Fast and Furious, Homeland Security, DHS, MIAC memos. First, 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 first. The illegals being shipped in by Border Patrol given vouchers. Jakari Jackson, Adon Salazar. First, first, first. We're 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 first. Or we take what's currently going on and decipher it, and then what our analysis ends up to be right 99% of the time. It, it's constant. It's not hard once you shift your paradigm. They say it's 10,000 illegals they're going to bring in out of the Middle East. I say it's going to be a couple hundred thousand by next week. It was. I've got their formula. I've got them down. I've got the jack on them. I'm not bragging. Because the more I get right, and this is the most important thing I've said in a, in a year. Listen to me carefully. I subconsciously have sold out at some level because I catch myself not being as hardcore. I catch myself not saying stuff because it's so horrible, even though I know it's true, because I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be hateful. I don't want to be incendiary. I have children. I, in my flesh, I want to protect them. In my flesh, I don't want to confront these demons. But, you know, my spirit's stronger than my flesh. Spirit's willing, the flesh is weak. Well, that's a two-way street. And my kids don't have a future anyways if we don't beat this, so I've just got to decide to do the right thing. May the heavens fall. And you got to decide that. Because I know what we're facing. I know how serious it is. Who's up first, Shikari or Knight? Go to Knight first, okay.
it's just all this epic stuff's going on around us. I mean, it's epic that every major GMO stacked crop has huge birth defect problems, cancer problems, uh, stillbirth problems in every major study. Look it up. I mean, we're eating stuff that kills the rats, guinea pigs, chinchillas that eat it. I mean, that's just epic. Glyphosate is in all lower 48 water supplies and in Hawaii. It's, a, it's miracle grow for cancer. That's epic. They know it. They did it on purpose. Same company did Asian Orange, Dioxin, all of it. I mean, these people are demons. I wouldn't be surprised if I got magic sunglasses and put them on and it's like they live real or something. I mean, these people are so whacked out, so evil, so bad. Hospitals, it turns out, no, they have mold that basically is going to kill a bunch of people come in there. They don't shut the hospital down. They don't clean it out. They want money, so they cover up all the deaths. I mean, and then nothing's done to them because they're above the law. That came out two days ago. Oh, we got to give the illegal aliens free babies and free health care and free everything. I saw an article where a bunch of California cities today, the, the, this week started in a coalition paying for all the health care of illegals as a way to bring more people up there. And then I know all these people, Hispanic, black, white, who are losing their houses, the IRS, retirees are losing them, people that can't get health care that are citizens. I mean, it's sick. It's sick. The people that run this country have it out for America because America almost beat the British Empire and the world government. America almost beat the Rothschild Combine. Free market competes directly with their takeover. And they want our head on their wall. They want to mount us like a trophy. They want to kill our seed. They want to salt our earth. And folks better wake up to the war that's going on. That's why the system doesn't like us. Believe me, they're not stupid. They know they try to assassinate me in the media or physically or come after us. That it's going to blow up in their face. But you see, letting us continue on blows up even bigger. And that's because I'm not selling out. I'm going all the way. I'm telling it like it is. I'm becoming conscious of the fact of my own weakness. And I'm refusing to be weak in the face of their weakness. I refuse to crawl around on my belly like they do. Let's go to David Knight. We'll come back in the next segment with him. Then Jakari Jackson at the bottom of the hour. They've been filing a bunch of amazing reports in New York. The video reports are up on InfoWars.com. David Knight, thank you for joining us. David Knight for InfoWars.com. I'm here at the at Ground Zero, the 9-11 Museum. The Pope spoke here earlier. Actually, it was a world religion ceremony. But before we talk about that, Alex, I want to talk about what happened at the UN this morning. At the UN, as part of his speech, one of the things that he said was that the environment has rights. That's a quote. The environment has rights. And he's going to speak for them. That's the classic take. That's right. That's right. And, and so what he's selling there is, is essentially Gaia religion, Gaia theory that we've seen. Many people push for the earth firsters, that, 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 that agenda. Many people look at this, whether they're Catholic or I've, I've gotten a lot of tweet backs from people saying, well, I agree with the Pope and I'm not a Catholic. I'm an atheist. I think what he's doing is great. Those people need to understand that this is not a moral case that's being made. This is a political takeover. And there's evidence of that, Alex. The Chinese president met with Obama right after the Pope left in Washington yesterday. Today, they're releasing an agenda that the U.S. and China have agreed on cap and trade. This is all falling into place. That's the next step, just like the TPP. And you can see the parallel structure with the TPP as well. The United States in the center enacting a Trans-Pacific Agreement, enacting a Transatlantic Agreement. At the same time, we are the spine on which they attach these two wings, bringing these things together in the next step towards global governance. But they're also doing it with the uh, climate change agenda, the cap and trade agenda. Because what they're going to do is they're going to cap and tax you. They're going to control your energy uses. And you can see in this particular instance, we've got the Chinese president, the U.S. president, and essentially the cultural leader of Europe. There's not a strong central leader in Europe that could speak of all for all of Europe. So they bring in the Pope. And with the added advantage, Alex, that he can make a moral case. That's and right. So He's there to cement it all together. They're making their full push right now for open planetary government. Excellent.